We're here with Julie Davis Strand. How are you? I'm great. Julie is co chair of PEP, this great nonprofit organization that we have here in Santa Barbara. And I would like Julie to start by uh, you telling us what PEP means. Well, first of all, I'd like to say I'm thrilled to be here because I love to spread the word of PEP. I think it's an amazing you. organization. PEP is Postpartum Education for Parents. Mm -hmm. It's parents educating other parents. It was founded 31 years ago by a group of women here in Goleta, Santa Barbara area, and it's continued through till today. PEP is here to ease the adjustment of developing families. PEP is a group of um, parent volunteers. Mm -hmm. We offer a variety of services to the community and a big thing with PEP is that there is not one right way to parent. So we are a group of people who want to be there to support other parents and not push any one philosophy. Now uh, tell me a little bit more about those services that you cover. Well, let me tell you that postpartum means the first year after a baby's born, mm -hmm. but we actually start um, helping and offering services for pregnant people, which um, includes our Baby Basics class, which is the first Saturday of every month. Mm -hmm. It's a three-hour class that is packed full of such fabulous information. It talks about once you get the baby home and for the first year. So there's many of classes that you can take on childbirth and delivery, but this is actually when you leave the hospital and come home and find yourself do I do? home with this new uh -huh. baby and for some people that's a really daunting time and so what we hear from people who've gone through the baby basics class is that they feel more confident. I actually have a live bath baby at each class which is certainly the highlight for all of the cute little pregnant people there mm -hmm. watching this beautiful little newborn getting a bath. We also have baby dolls there for all of the participants and they actually diaper a baby doll. Okay. And for a lot of people that's the first time they've ever put a diaper on anything, even though it's a baby doll, at least it gives them a little more comfort when it comes to actually diapering their own baby. What happens after? So then after the baby gets here, mm -hmm. we have um, our Wednesday groups mm -hmm. which are here at Trinity Lutheran Church. It's a wonderful setup. We're actually not affiliated with the church. We rent this wonderful room from them. You meet by the age of your baby. So as soon as you have your baby, you just show up. You don't have to RSVP. You don't have to register. It's free. We have eight week sessions at the church. During those eight weeks, we have guest speakers who come and speak, we have a lactation consultant, we have a pediatrician, we have um, various different guest speakers that are really so informative, especially right at that time when you really want to hear words of wisdom from professionals. I found personally that when my child turned two, I needed my PEP group even more than I did at the newborn stage because the two-year-old time really was a challenging one for me and so I was emailing, calling and meeting with all of my friends from PEP saying, what are you guys doing? Are you noticing this? What's, what are you doing with your two-year-old? Who is behind PEP in terms of sponsorship? That is a great question. <laughs> we actually are always happy to receive any donations from anybody and we have fundraised over the years, but if anybody is ever moved to want to donate to PEP, we are always more than welcome to take money for this Good. wonderful organization. Definitely, it's, it's worth it, that money. Now, tell me more about the warm line, because I know it's a very good service also that PEP provides. PEP has a wonderful phone service called the Warm Line. Mm -hmm. It's a warm line versus a hotline. A hotline implies crisis. Mm -hmm. The Warm Line is there for people to ask basic questions about local resources, although we do get phone calls from all over the United States and even Canada. Those phone calls might be about postpartum distress. It might be a father or a grandmother calling and saying, I'm concerned about my daughter or my wife. Um, can you help me find some resources in my area? Can you help me um, point me in the right directions? Or it might be a local family who just moved here with a two-year-old and they're saying, do you have a pep group Any, that, yeah. that is meeting on a weekly basis and I can join that pep group for my two-year-old. What's the number just to make sure that we all have it? I think you have a brochure with the you. The phone number is 564-3888. Okay, and that's 805-564-3888. We also have San Inez PAP. 
that started a couple of years ago, and we're really excited oh, about good. that. Yeah. It was really about nice people for north. people from the valley to be able, because many of those people were driving down here, so mm -hmm. now it's nice because it's close to them. We do have a PEP University where other people have flown in from Alaska or New Jersey or Texas. They come here and they train how to start a PEP in their community, and then they go off and start a PEP in their community. How can people participate? Like being volunteers, how many do you need? Well, that's, we're always looking for volunteers. That's always such a nice thing. We have um, training three or four times a year, and they can contact us through the website, sbpep.org. Well, thank you so much for all that information. I'm sure a lot of parents there are going to be willing to take advantage of this nonprofit organization. Thank you for this opportunity, and Definitely. good luck to you. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv or call 963-3893. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.